But the next day was Sunday, <clears throat> and I had been invited to go to this church, and I had refused to go because I was afraid that Jesus wouldn't forgive me. I got into drugs and alcohol and all the things that messes up a life so terribly. And I came to the church that Sunday morning with all of this guilt, with all of the fear, with all of the heaviness of a sinful life. And I walked down to the altar screaming out to God, please save me. And you know how wonderfully the Lord loves to save a person that's crying out. And on that <clears throat> platform that Sunday morning was Pastor Jimmy Snow and the youth leader, Harry, Harry Yates. He was the youth leader of 300 youth. Anyway, they came and they were laughing. I thought they were laughing at me to think I could be saved. But they were laughing with me because they'd been praying for me for six months. And uh, I, went to, I was at that altar for a very long time, and the pastor came over, and he looked at me, and he said, Joanne, Jesus loves you. And I looked back at him, and I said, Are you sure? I wanted so much to know that, because I'd been so deceived. And... He said, let me lead you through to salvation. And as he gave me <clears throat> Romans 6, 23, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. I said, that's what I've done. I've come short. How can Jesus want me? I've come short. He said, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. He said, it's a gift. It's a gift. You can't earn it. And he, he explained it to me like you would a little child because in my spirit, I was a little child. And he said, Joanne, Jesus loves you. And, and he agreed. He said, Jesus loves you. And as we prayed the sinner's prayer, and I prayed it so heart, fervently with my heart, I said, Jesus, I am a sinner Come into my heart and forgive my sins. And I felt a very strong heat start at my feet. I didn't know what was happening to me. I really didn't. I didn't understand it. I said, my feet's getting hot and I don't understand it. What's happening to me? Is the Lord killing me? What's, what's happening? And he said, Joanne... Just rejoice and allow the Lord to deliver you and set you free. And that warmth and that heat increased as it came up, literally, my physical body, and set me free. And I felt it come all the way up off my top of my fingertips. And from that moment to this, I felt like I could fly. The, 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 the deliver not only the salvation and the freedom of deliverance and forgiveness, but the total freedom of the drugs and the alcohol. I have not had one drop of alcohol since 1970, and not one of those drugs or anything, and I am so free. And this uh, a, a month or so later, I was filled with the infilling of the Holy Spirit. And he gave me a prayer language that only Jesus and I know.